Historic criminal charges. The January 6th Select Committee voted unanimously to refer four federal criminal charges against former President Donald Trump to the Justice Department. This is the first time in American history that criminal charges have been recommended against a U.S. president. Those charges include obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy theory to make false statements, and the final charge, insurrection. The committee will release its full report on Wednesday, which will include transcripts of every interview they've conducted. It's a massive, several hundred page report that the Department of Justice may use in its investigation. I'm joined now by former New Jersey Governor Tom Kane Sr., who knows a thing or two about chairing investigations. He chaired the 9-11 Commission after the attack on the World Trade Center. Governor Kane, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We have never seen criminal charges referred against a president of the United States for charges, including insurrection. How strong of a case do you believe the, the select committee laid out for the Department of Justice? Well, I don't know. Remember, the Department of Justice has been conducting its own independent investigation that has been going on for a long time now and may or may not be reaching a conclusion. And they're going to do what they want to do, regardless of what this committee has told them to do. In fact, I think it may have been a mistake to make that referral because the committee is, in a sense, somewhat partisan. The Department of Justice is totally nonpartisan, and that's the way they have to remain. I don't think the committee did them any favors by, by making a recommendation. They did a wonderful job, I think, in presenting a case to the American people. But the Justice Department has got to do its own thing and make its own case. And that's what American people should expect from them. Do you believe that the investigation by the select committee was a roadmap for the Department of Justice, or you're saying the Department of Justice doesn't need that help? The Department of Justice has got to be totally nonpartisan. Their investigation is being headed by a very guy with a lot of credibility, and I think their report will have a lot of credibility, whether or not they bring charges. But they, they shouldn't be pushed. <laughs> they, should be, they should be allowed the time to do their own case and do it totally non, in a nonpartisan manner and present it to the American people uh, to the best of their ability. The perception of the American people may not be that the Department of Justice is completely nonpartisan. Um, do you believe that you can't take the politics out of this in some sense because this is a de Department of Justice under President Biden who could face former President Trump in a future election? How much do the politics play in here? Hopefully not at all. I mean, I can't tell you that's 100 percent true, but like the Department of Justice under a number of presidents has always maintained a certain amount of credibility and means for the Republican and Democrat, you can count on the Department of Justice to do a fair and a reasonable job. And that's why what they do has generally been accepted by the American people. And that's why I, <laughs> I wish the committee had sort of stayed away from them. I wish they'd let them do the job because it's very, very important. Congress and congressional committees under one party or another are going to be partisan. This one particularly partisan. But Department of Justice has got to be something that we all accept as Americans, and, and that's why I don't want to see them polluted in any way. There is certainly the court of law, and there's the court of public opinion. In your view, where does former President Donald Trump stand in both? Well, the, the polls I've seen indicate he's gone down, but that he's still got a certain, very large percentage of the American people who support him and believe in him. And I think he was right most of what he did. Uh, in fact, a surprisingly large number but um, it's not as large as it was a couple of months ago. If the Department of Justice chose not to bring criminal charges against former President Trump, what do you believe is the risk of this happening again? Well, depending on if you know, the law can be changed. There's one proposal I think is already pending in Congress that I think has bipartisan support, which says, look, the vice president has not got the authority to change the results of the election or refer it back to the states. Uh, that's a that's something that people doubt right now, and it should be fixed. So fix things like that. Fix the system where it seems to be a little broken and make sure we get back to what the original founders of this country wanted. And, and that is, we should not have any excuse for overturning the results of a lawful election ever in this country. Thank you so much for your insight. As always, former Governor Tom Kane Sr., thank you. Thank you.